Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, my fam. Good morning, my people. What do you do? Man, good morning. It is 8.30 in the morning. I am driving to the store. Hashtag 60 for me. Bro, let's talk about change today. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. Change. Boom. Bam, right? Change. Change. Like, I'm going to give you $10. It only costs $4.95. I need some change, right? Taking one thing and turning it into another, right? Change. Change, chain, chain. Look at all this sunlight just flashing on me. I feel like I'm in a disco. Speaking of disco, man, I'm about to start late nights in my store, Friday and Saturday nights. We're going to do a late night menu. I'm bringing in some black lights. I got some cool, like, lasers coming in. Bro, we're finna turn it out. And maybe nobody shows up and I'll be in there partying by myself. But you know what? I do that all the time anyway. So, man, I can't wait to make this right-hand turn. The sun is blinding this morning. Certain times of the year, right, as we change, change, change seasons, I might get a little button for my podcast. Change, change, change. Anyways, yeah, they're changing the roads. Look at them. Now the roads are uneven because they're changing them. Everything is constantly changing around you. You switch jobs, you switch teams, you switch lanes, you switch vehicles, you change, you know. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, man. I've seen some change. Good morning, Matthew. I've seen some change of teams this season. People advertising, you know, changes and new opportunities and starting teams and closing teams down and talking to coaches that are building teams and talking to coaches that are shutting teams down and how some coaches are moving forward with new things and people are changing business and and it's just a lot of change man i talked to a parent a couple of days ago and they said that when their kid was younger right they were on an elite level team and and the kid was doing great and, and doing well and hitting well and running well and, and, and progressing well on this elite level team. Um, but the kid wanted to play another position. And that position at the elite level, she was not at the elite level. She wasn't, right? It required a little bit more experience, maybe a little bit more natural ability at that age, as well as some persistence, guidance, direction, change right so they left the elite level team and they went and played on a more local team primarily at that position so that the player could develop she could change she could have opportunity right and this parent was telling me that you know they got a lot of criticism a lot of flack from people because of what they thought was proper for their own child. Okay. Well, now, you know, fast forward many years later, that player is is back at an elite level, but she's at an elite level at that position. So, so far, you know, that, that change worked out for her, right? There, there's a lot of opportunity for people to be different. There's a lot of opportunity for change to, I don't know, here we go. Hey, if you got 10 minutes, yeah, okay, cool, I love it, right? I mean, there it is, right? Another opportunity to be able to speak to somebody, right? Somebody that's looking for change and opportunity, I love it. Right? And and that's what we're working on. That's the whole process here. That's why I jump on here. That's why I do my leadership talks. Right? That's because somebody's looking for change somewhere. I am constantly looking for change. Not for a dollar, not for fifty cent, 
but in my life to be able to improve. Good morning, Cyrus. Here's another guy who's looking for change. Him and I are working on changing some communities together, right? We're just starting our relationship. Your life can change in an instant, right? Sometimes change takes time, right? I want to go from 280 pounds to 250 to 230 to 190, right? I want to get physically fit. Well, that doesn't happen overnight, right? I want to stop doing these bad habits that I have. Okay, certain things you can stop what they call cold turkey. Some things you can. It takes help. It takes a process, right? I remember when I got out of the Navy, you know, this is 2015. Talk about change, right? I'm at almost 16 years doing the same thing. Now, you change duty stations. You change people you lead. You change ranks. But I'm talking about left, 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 dear right, left, 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 dear right, left, said you left, left, keep it in, come on now, right? You get it in, in, ingrained in your brain and then you wake up and then it's gone. It's gone. They put you through this TAPS class. They put you through this little, okay, here's your DD-214. Make sure you check out at the VA. I wish you the best. Have a nice day. And no one really positively set you up for change. And let's be honest, like I didn't go through a whole lot in, well, I went through a lot in the military, but like I wasn't in the battleground. I didn't put my boots on the ground. I never fired a live weapon. There's people that went through way worse than I did, right, while they were in the military. So I can imagine how that change impacted them, right? And now you got people that are working to try to change how those people feel. Right, so 2015, 16, I get out, I get a DD-214, there's people that are upset because I want to change. Imagine that. Imagine a group of people that are upset with you because you want change in your life. What? Right, it, why? Why, is it because it impacts them? No, it doesn't change your day-to-day -day process. What it does is it impacts what they think is acceptable, right? Because when we're young and we're young in the Navy and we're young in the military, it's impounded in your head. This is who you are, this is what you do, this is where you go, this is what you say, this is how you act. Yes, chief, no chief, yes, sir, no, sir. Move here, move there, out of column left, half right, march. Right? And then they don't set you up for anything after, right? So even a guy who was primarily a recruiter that was on teams, when he decided to change his life, a group of people got mad at him and kind of said, whatever, dude, let's see how you, how you do. And all of them sat back, I promise you, over the years and tracked and have been tracking and have been watching to see the change, right? And and so the change from 2015 to 2019 was sadness, depression, anxiety, stress, BS, weight gain, you know, change of everything, right? And then 2020, bring on the 60, change again, right? Grow teams, grow a league and continue to change, continue to now not only change your life, but change now and impact others, All right? So the word for the day is change. The leadership series today is about change. How do you handle change? Sometimes that change impacts you positively. I wanna lose weight, I wanna get a new job, I wanna go back to school, I wanna help and volunteer, I wanna feed people, I wanna give back time, I wanna change everything, right? That's where I'm at in my life, right? I wanna change everything but the people that are important to me. I don't want to change my wife. I love her. I want to grow and continue to change with her. I don't want to change my kids. I love them. I want to continue to grow and change together with them, right? Um, but just change mentality at this point, right? Focus on little things, right? I talk to so many people every day on their journey that are now like, okay, good morning, Nick. Good morning, Rob. I talk to so many people every day that you know, they're at a process in their life or they're at a process in their journey where they've been following the change so long now that they're comfortable to start talking to me about their change, 
right? There's Nick, right? Every day that Nick jumps on here, you can guarantee Nick's gonna say take on the day. That's his mantra, right? But that's new. He's only been doing that for the last couple months or at least saying it outwardly, right? So he's, I can feel it just from the take on the day. He's trying to change, right? He's trying to say, I'm, I'm empowered. I'm taking on the day. Um, I have my task list. I know what I want to do. I know where I want to go. I know what I want to impact. I know what I want to say it from the back form, Bill. Change. How can you change? How can you get better, right, as a coach? How can you get better as a coach? I'm working to get better as a coach, right? I'm working to get better as a mentor. I'm going through self-help classes. I'm going and seeking out other mentors, speakers, classes, self-help people, right? I'm reading books. I'm taking and really narrowing down my experience between the military and softball and a master's degree and, and, and counseling. Uh, you know, every everything that I've done in my life, I'm now transcribing it into experience and using it to change 60 minutes a day be open to all things speak to your players yeah correct right too often you know we we coach from the sidelines right when i go to somebody's practice right they give me these big eyes Oh my God, what's this guy doing? He's so loud. He's so in everybody's face. Like, okay, but listen to what he's saying, right? Listen to what he's saying, right? Look at their faces when they get it. Look at what we're teaching. Look at the impact that it has, right? Think about the educational process. Change the way you coach, right? I was so mad. I went to somebody's practice the other week and I didn't have my glove. I was so mad. Right? Because there's a difference in the way I can practice with a glove and without a glove because I like to be involved. I want to walk through the process. I want to field the ball, throw the ball, catch the ball, touch the ball. I don't want to just point fingers and go, well, guys, uh, this will just move in a little close. No, I want to get out there and I want to show you what does it mean to move in closer. When I do X, Y, Z and I want you to change your thought process, right? Change your thought process. You know, there's a reason that winners win. There's a reason. Because they embrace it, right? Because they go all in, right? And they lose and they fail, but they get back up and they say, okay, well, what the heck happened there? Now it's time to change, 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 right? Continue to be empowered by change, right? Because it is the season of change. This is where we're at. Guess what? Right? People change too. Man, I've seen some changes this season where I'm like, whoa, okay. Follow it, right? What's go what? All right. Bye-bye. Let's see what happens. Right? Because change is opportunity. Change is opportunity. And, and that can be good opportunities. That can be bad opportunities. That could be, you know, I don't know, man. Mostly what I talk about is a change of thought process, right? Allowing yourself to be who you truly want to be. Good morning, Todd, right? I, I mean, change is all around. You know, it's good to see when people embrace it. When people say, you know what? I've done all I can do this way. I need to flip the script and see about growth this way, you know? And growth is hard, man. I mean, here it is, it's 8.43. I put my whole schedule up on my, on my page today. And I'm literally going to do all of those things today, I promise you, right? I did the workout this morning. Right now I'm on the live, I'm going to the store, I'm gonna open my lobby, I'm gonna get my deliveries together. I'm going to deliver them, go home, pick up mom, take her to the doctor. You know, then I'm going to go see about marketing. I'm going to do some PGF work. I'm going to work on my website. Man, I'm telling you, man, what I am working on is going to revolutionize. I just feel like it's going to revolutionize all of it. What's to say? My whole staff loved your chain, chain, chain. That's right. Now, you got me up in the office, right? So I love it, right? Listen, can I sing? Hell no, right? Somebody once said that they were making fun of me online, right? And they, they, 
used a scratchy voice and inhaled a helium balloon, said I sounded like somebody on helium with a scratchy voice. I don't care, man. Right? That's me. This is me. This is re I'm exactly where I don't care. Right? If you're not having fun, what are you doing? You're taking yourself too serious, man. Right? That's the problem and why people feel others' opinions are so important and why they can't change. Right? Because people think that they're more important than they are. Probably myself included. I'm on here, right, talking about whatever and, and you know, it says there's five people on here. This video will get maybe 245, 250 views. Great. I appreciate that. Right? And I'm working towards 500 and 1,000 and 10,000 and hopefully achieving all my goals and dreams while relaying a world of experience. But if you're not having fun, what are you doing? If you're not the best in your profession, what are you doing? If you're not leading from the front, what are you doing? If you're not trying to... Come on, somebody type it in. C-H-A-N-G-E. Change. If you're not trying to constantly develop and get better, what are we doing? Doesn't make sense to me. Progressing or digressing? Moving forward or moving backwards? Right? You're, you're, you're choosing positivity or negativity. You're correcting with a positive lingo or you're not. Listen, I didn't always. I wasn't always a good coach. Some might tell you I'm a terrible coach now. Well, okay. Well, hit the, hit the block button. Block them out. Block them out. Shut them down. Shut them down. Block them out. Don't want to hear it. Block it out. It's funny, like I have this follow on my page now, man, and every day I get like four, five, six new followers and, you know, I also get every once in a while, every three or four days, maybe one or two that unfollow. Okay, not a fan anymore. Got it. Okay, you needed change. This wasn't for you anymore. Okay, cool. Right, I've changed who I listen to and what I do and how I think and what motivates me a hundred times over change. You know what I got to change? Not bringing water on the car ride in the morning because I talk for a half hour and then I get all bleh. But man, change, right? Like how can I change? You say, Bill, okay, you've been talking about change. How can I do it? Well, like, listen, for me, you know, I wake up and, and I seek it. How can I change my, my, my taco business? Okay. Well, the first year we did really good. The last 30 days, honestly, it's been a little stagnant. Right? Okay, so now we're gonna introduce breakfast. We're gonna introduce late night. We've introduced new tacos. I've asked for permission to open things up, right? On the softball side this year, we're not just doing tournaments, we're changing. We're doing more of this. We're doing more education. We're doing more free information. We're doing seminars and tournaments. We brought in new camp directors. We brought in new area directors. We're adding new awards and prizes and rings and belts and oh my. Right? Still looking for restaurant number two. If you're a commercial realtor, anywhere from Orlando to Fort Myers, and you've got an exceptional second gen uh, restaurant deal that you're sitting on, holla at your boy, 704-807-5663. Always looking for good opportunities there. We're growing a brand within a brand, right? You know, and now we're building the, the mind body sport. We're changing that. Right? I'm taking all of this experience and building a team of like-minded professionals, of people who want to learn and grow, of kids who want to be empowered, who not only want the best physical training and the best athletic training, but the best mental training and families, the most experienced training. You would be shocked how many people I talk to every day that want greatness but have no idea how to even help their kids get it. Come on. Come on, man. We are in the age of brand building. We are in the age of digital communication. We are in the age of where when our kids are our age, it's all going to be touch of a button. You know, and, and when they're 10 years, when your kids are my kids age, 23, 18, 20, you know, five, six, seven, eight years from now, it's going to be about branding and individualism and how far can you take your, I mean, look where it's going, NLI, and you know, at the, at the college level, hell, I saw a post about NLI at the high school level, come on, 
right? These people all want it to be about individual branding. Who can we latch on to? What can we do? How can we help everybody individualize, right? Change, right? Some people are gonna go, well, no, we're not gonna do that. Nope, I'm gonna go with old reliable. It's like when the, when the car came out. Nope. I'm gonna stick with old pony right here. We're still gonna ride our horseback and buggy. Okay, bud, well, you get there in five days. I'm gonna be there tomorrow, no problem. Or you can change, right? How do you grow the game? I right? said, grow the game, yeah. Yeah, let's grow the game. How do you do it? <coughs> you grow it from within. You educate, you make the branches that are already on the tree stronger, right? Take a take a tree, right? Somebody uh, uh, digs up a tree, a palm tree, right? We're in Florida, we all see these palm trees, we plant them. What happens you just plant a tree? I don't know. Right, because the roots haven't had chance to grasp. They put these supports on them, they put these pylons on them, right? There's support at all levels so things can take root and grow, right? And then as it grows, it changes. It gets stronger. It keeps moving. It keeps working. It keeps developing. Grows more branches, drops down fruit, grows more trees. Man, that's what we're doing. Building networks, getting strong, making sure that people understand a process from 8 to 18U. From rec ball to high level elite gold, platinum, silver, Stardust, you know, whatever. Because that's what it's about, man. It's about making sure that families understand that they're comfortable in their process, that, that, that you know, fathers understand how is this going to impact my kid? Mothers understand what happens when they go to college? What's our relationship going to, what am I going to go through? What's she going to experience, right? When she goes from 35 to 40 feet, what happens? When they go from... 40 to 40, oh geez, all these things, you know, what happens when her best friend gets nine offers and she doesn't, but my kid's constantly working harder than the other, oh boy, come on, chain, 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 <clears throat> anyways, today's topic was change, man, I challenge you, I call you out to change, change something about your process today, you've been sitting there going, I want to change this. I want to change that. I want to change how I think, how I feel, how I coach, how I believe. I want to change how I play. I want to change how I pray. I want to change where I go. Or maybe I don't want to stay, right? So figure out what it is you're trying to change. Write it down. I say it every day. Write it down. This is what I physically want to get better at. Emotionally, mentally, physically purposefully, intently want to get better at. This is what I want to change. And then write down how you want to change that process, right? Nick says starts with doing it. It starts with intent, right? I say that every day, intent. I want to intentionally do it. I want to intentionally make it happen. I'm going to write it down, write down my goals, my process, my systems. And if I don't know what to do or I don't know how to do it or I don't know where to begin or I don't know how to begin, then I'm gonna call somebody. You can call me, 704-807-5663. You could call probably any one of the guys on here, Cyrus, Nick, Jimmy, I mean, you can call somebody. Call Tyrone, you can even use my phone. Call whoever you want, but figure it out because the people that rely on you depend on that, right? The people that rely on you depend on you to figure it out. And you don't always have to figure it out by yourself. I talk to people every day. I seek out counsel every day. I listen to something that sets my mind straight every day. Whoo! So here I am at the corner of 54 and Ducks Law, beginning my day. I'm two minutes away from my store. And, you know, you got to get creative with change. You got to make things happen in this world you got to build your own economy my daughter calls you the softball m m wanted you to know that message aside i love it right i love it right i could be here a while i could freestyle i could chill it's all good man the softball m m 
chicka chicka slim shady but that's cool right but it makes an impact right when i walk away she goes that guy's the nerd right that guy's cool all right he always has some funky funny fun stuff to say but what he says makes sense right that's it you gotta make an impact man you gotta know you know you know how many people look at me every day like what are you doing what is all this it's an impact man to change. Maybe it never does anything for anybody. Maybe it only does something for the six people that are on here now. But I think it does more than that. And at the end of the day, right, I love working with kids. I love working with those faces, right? You know, I was working with a kid uh, last week at third base, right? They were, this team was doing bunt defense, right? And, 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 and the kid was just Oh, da, 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 da. And she kept stopping her feet and stopping her feet and overthrowing the ball and and wasn't really running to the ball and it was all just very slow and lethargic and lack of energy and just ugh, right? So I ran across the field. Blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you this, 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 and this, right? And her eyes just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, when you just talk like that, I learned this a while ago. When you just talk like that, they look at you like, "What are you talking? I don't know," right? So that's why I put on the glove and I do the drill with them. Let's go run with me, right? Run with me. Come through the ball. Keep running through the base. Hit it with a hook. Make sure you hit the right spot. Boom, glove, right? And this girl made this play five times after that and was laughing and joking and having a good time and, you know, whatever. She, I got to believe she felt better after that demonstration, right? And and if she didn't, well, whatever, right? And we were laughing and joking while it was going on. But, you know, she performed much better after that, right? So change, man. Change. That's what it's all about. It's about becoming a better version of yourself today. You know? I was talking to another guy. He's like, oh, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start slow. I'm just gonna I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to, you know, okay, cool. Listen, I'm starting slow. I'm reading a page a day in my book, not 50, a page a day because I need to build up that mindset. But now I'm on five, right? So we should be at jogging, right? And then we should be at running and then we should be rolling, right? And, and you know, start however you need to start. Start wherever you need to start. However your change begins, but every day increase the intensity of that change. Otherwise, you're changing nothing. You feel like you're changing because you're doing something a little bit different, but then that becomes no change. So you'll always hear me say, increase the intensity. Increase the intensity, man. Right? And that could be I'm doing 10 reps and I go to 12. That could mean I'm reading one page, I'm reading 20. That could mean I'm right. Uh, that could mean I'm, I'm swinging five times, I'm swinging 10. Man, change is coming. Change, change, you go, Nick. Change, change, change. All right, well, listen, that's what's on my mind. That's a little bit of my time about change, ability, the ability to change, the need for change. Every day, man, like the wind, right? You have to constantly be growing. Because if you're not, like, what are you doing? Because you can only be the best at something for a day. Because the next day, somebody else has done better than you, right? And that's fine. But for me, I compete against me. If I'm only doing this much today, what did I not do today to build that up better tomorrow? Because then I should be riding, right? Then I should be rising. And now today I've risen, so what am I doing now to bring it to that level? Okay, now what am okay? And every once in a while, you get in a slump and you got to come back down here and go, oh, it's all right. Everything's okay. Bring yourself back up. Constantly changing, man. Constantly challenging yourself to be better. Better. Same thing you say to your players every day. Right? I challenge you to hear yourself coach. I challenge you to hear yourself coach. And I'm going to leave it on this. 
I challenge you to hear yourself coach, right? That has helped me immensely. Hey, I need you to run faster. Am I running faster? Am I running faster with my coaching? Am I running quicker to get better? Hey, I need you to get down on that play. Am I sliding on the close plays? Do I know to front slide, back slide, back door slide, hook slide? Do I know to grab the bag inside, bag outside? Am I hearing myself coach? Hey, come on now, don't chase that pitch. Am I getting lackadaisical as a coach? Am I not sharpening the swing internally and keeping up with the latest trends in education? Hey, man, call the ball. Am I making sure that my message is clear to my team so that I don't run into somebody else? Are, are me and my staff on the same page? Have we been to coaching clinics? Have we talked about a game plan together? Are we calling the ball? Hmm. Hey, I need you to put that pitch right there. Are we being accurate? Are we as coaches hitting our spots? Hey, let's go, kid. Get down and block that. Are we letting things past us? Are past balls going behind us? I don't know, man. Only you can answer those questions. But hear yourself, coach. Do the things you instruct. Be the greatness that you try to inspire. And watch how not only you get better as a coach, but how your team gets better as a unit. Man, let's talk. Let's chat. Let's build a team together. Let's you and I collaborate on rising up every one of those athletes in your, in your team. Every one of those families that you have taken charge of. Let's build a growth process to where everybody can change. I hope y'all have a great day, man. I'm going to continue to continue and continue to do what I do. I hope you do what you do and find change in your life. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. We'll see y'all out on the diamond. Hoops out.